Hey everybody, my name is Bobby Kowecki and welcome back to another tutorial. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very important, very small, but often overlooked aspect when creating videos for YouTube, and that is aspect ratios. More specifically, the aspect ratio you export your videos at. Why is this important? Well, 90% of people watching videos on YouTube are watching on their phones, but 90% of people creating videos for YouTube are not creating videos for a phone screen. So today we're going to learn about a super easy way to help maximize all that extra real estate on your viewers phone screens. Let's jump into it. <laughs> So what do I mean by aspect ratios? Well, all an aspect ratio is is basically the size of the video, the length to by the width. And there are a couple industry standards when you're viewing content online. If you're viewing content on Instagram, you'll either see a perfectly square video that is a one by one, or you'll see one that's more of a rectangle, which is a four by five. But if you're viewing content for YouTube, you'll probably see the most common version of the aspect ratio, which is a 16 by nine. That's basically a rectangle turned on its side. Most phones, cameras, anything you're filming with will film in 16 by nine. But if you're watching this on an iPhone right now, pause the video, pull out your phone, research it. Okay, you're back. As you can see in this clip right now, there's black bars on the side of the video, but now that I've changed the aspect ratio, you've maximized the real estate on each side. And basically that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today in Premiere Pro. Let's jump on in and I'll show you how. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. Now, all we have to do here to get that sort of widescreen cinematic aspect that takes up a lot more screen real estate is go up here to file, go to new, go to sequence, or you could hit command N. Next, we're gonna go over to setting. Now, I've already created this as a preset. I call it go to widescreen. But in order to get that, I'm gonna show you what we do. We're gonna go over here to settings and we're gonna change the numbers. Let's say here would be zero and zero. So if you're starting a fresh project, this is what it'll look like for you. But all we're gonna do is change these numbers to 3840 by 1920. And that's gonna give us an aspect ratio of two to one. And that's what's gonna give us that really stretched out screen rather than if it was in 1920 or uh, 1920 by 1080, which would give us those black bars on the side. So let's create this here. You could also save it as a preset. Okay, create sequence. Now, these clips that I filmed were filmed in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is exactly why it's asking me if I wanna change the settings. You're not gonna to wanna to change the settings. You wanna keep existing settings. So as we scrub through my video here of that intro I made, you'll see it fills up the whole screen and that's because I filmed it in 4K. If this was a 1920 by 1080 video that you were looking to scale up to this resolution, you would have to stretch it out a little bit. So if we were doing this video in 16 by nine, our clip would look something like this. And as you can see, there's those black bars on the side, but because we've stretched the aspect ratio and we filmed in 4K, if we go back to 100%, we filled in the whole screen now. And that's it. That's the whole trick here, is changing those numbers around and you've automatically taken up more of your viewers' eyes, more of their screen. There's a reason a lot of the times on Instagram you'll see famous photographers edit and export in four by five. It's because it takes up more of the screen, what you're seeing. It leaves less room for distraction. So if you're out there creating videos, if you're making something cool today, change your aspect ratio to this. You won't really lose that much space on the screen you still might have to adjust it up and down, especially if you're filming in 1920 by 1080, but it's so minimal that you won't even notice, right? So like if you look down here at my Funko Pops, you lose barely anything of them. But if I maximize the screen out, you see more of what you want your viewers to look at. And that's all there is to this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Get out there implement this in your stuff. I really hope to see more videos on YouTube take full advantage of this aspect ratio. But until then, keep making cool stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one.